First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rokha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and orders of great millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. This video is going to be entitled, The Deceitfulness of Sin. And you can find this line in the book of Hebrews, the third chapter in the 13th verse. And what inspired me uh, to do this video is, you know, something that, you know, we see too often with Jake. And that's that they don't know what sin is. Okay. And the deeds that they think are righteous are actually sinful. Okay. The churches do not teach what is sin. You know, the, this Bible's not even opened okay to for all to understand okay and and you you come to find this out when you read the bible all right so i want to start here in first john three and four okay because you know a lot of our people are deceived okay they do not know what they fall at you know, or what they stumble upon, I should say. You know, therefore they're deceived by sin. And sin can be very deceitful, especially if we don't know what it is. What is a sin, right? This is First John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. See, and, and these churches teach our people... Okay, that the law is done away with. So, therefore, you know, our people, you know, don't follow the law. But, you know, if you transgress the law, that's actually a sin. Okay, you know, and, you know, some of the sins right off the top of my head, you know, that our people commit is, you know, the dietary law. There's a lot of things that our people eat that is actually a sin. There's a lot of. Um, adultery, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, just wicked deeds, you see, that our people, people commit, they don't, you know, they have no idea, you know, when they become hardened, it becomes normal to them, okay, You know, and there's there's a lot more sins, okay. You know, and you know when you come into the knowledge, you come to find out that um, you know this this book is is written to an election, okay. The 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 you know the best of their kind, the best of the Israelites, the so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans, and they're actually, um, you know their their sin is forgiven. You see, and, you know, our people, you know, they're deceived into thinking that, um, that this book is written to everybody and that everyone is just going to, you know, ride off on the sunset when, you know, the Savior returns. Okay. But, you know, as the scriptures say, you, you know, you, you got to strive lawfully. All right. You know, and there's a lot of sins that our people commit that, that, that they can um, actually uh, try to keep. You know, the Sabbath, that's another one. High holy days, you know, growing a beard, you know. How about loving your neighbor, you know? And, and, and real love is the keeping of the commandments, okay? So, you know... As it says here, First John 3 and 4, Whosoever committeth to sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law, right? Sin is the transgression of the law, okay? So, if you knew what the law was, then for you would know what sin is. Now, we know we can't keep the whole law, but there's, there's, there's things that you can... Uh, you can keep and, and the Lord's uh, commandments are not grievous. Okay, this is Isaiah 30. Okay, and to some Israelites they are. This is it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, 
Bashemi on Shai that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Okay, so you know, there's rebellious, rebellious Israelites that take counsel, right? They take advice, you know, they take heed, but not of Yahweh Bashemi on Shai. They cover themselves, okay, with the covering, you know, with with you know certain knowledge and certain so-called uh wisdom certain you know philosophies and religion and doctrine but it's not of the spirit of Yahweh by shimiao shai okay because ultimately you know they want to add sin to sin you know they they uh they don't want to stand in the council of Yahweh by shimiao shai because if you really stand in the council of the most high and his son it would cause you to change it would cause you to to really live you know um and worship according to spirit and truth, okay? So, you know, you know, destruction, you know, to the rebellious Israelites, okay? Because, you, you know, you say you love the Most High, you say, you know, you're godly, but, you know, you, you really got to put forth a, a real effort. This is Hebrews 3 um, and 13. It says, but exhort one another daily while it is called today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin so you know that's why we do these videos you know we're reminding each other to be righteous we're reminding each other through these videos you know by going out to the highways and hedges okay by by reading this word by by you know getting cleansed you know day after day okay to be righteous all right lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin now Let's get this word hardened first, okay? This is Strong's G forty six forty five, scleruno, scleruno. To render obstinate, stubborn, to be hardened, to become obstinate or stubborn, and and see that's that's what happens when you're not in the word, okay? You 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 can become um stubborn, you see. And our people they forgot the the Lord days without end. Okay, so when you try to teach them about the law, what do they say? Oh, that's done away with. Well, you know, it's we can't keep the law, but, you know, we establish it as the scriptures say. So if you don't keep the law, well, then you're sinning. You're living a sinful life and that can rend you very stubborn. Okay, you can't tell a Christian nothing, right? It says, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Right? Strong's G 539. Apate. Apate. Deceit, deceitfulness, right? You can be fooled, okay, by 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 what is sin. And that's ultimately because, you know, you, this understanding is not, not given to you. And we say that to your shame because, you know, one thing, you know, people find out and that's too late that, you know, uh, you know, the wages of sin is death, okay? Anything that you do, you think you're getting away with it, but really... You know, you know, the Lord could be saving you for, for a very great judgment. You see, so sin, sin is very deceitful because in this world, they teach you, you know, that um, God loves the sinner, but hates the sin, you know, but the scriptures say the most high heareth not sinners. So, you know, sin, sin can make you very stubborn. It can make, it, it can rend you, render you very obstinate, very, uh, it makes you very wicked to be, you know, to be quite honest. Now, I'm going to say this. Well, let's get the scriptures. This is first John one and eight. It says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Right. We cannot say that we have no sin because, uh, for one thing, we cannot keep the whole law. So, you know, we, we, you know, we do sin, you know, we do err, we do make mistakes. That is of a truth. We, we're not trying to beat no one over the head because right now is a grace period. But in this grace period, you have to really search these scriptures to find righteousness. You really have to search these scriptures, how to, you know, so you can govern your life and leave the rest to you. How about Shimei Shai? We live through faith. But if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Okay. Um... But 
let's jump. Lord willing, I can come back to this. But let's jump to uh, 1 John 5 and 16. Because, um, you know, we do uh, miscarry in this truth. But we are not to commit sins, okay, that'll defile us. That'll make us totally... Um, unworthy this is first john 5 and 16 if any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death there is a sin unto death i do not say that he shall pray for it so there are sins that are unto death okay so you know we'll be the first to say oh, yeah yeah we we miscarry we sin but you know, you know, that's something that you don't want to test. I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to see if Yahweh Bashim Yahshai will forgive you for a sin that is unto death. There are some sins that are unto death. It says here, if any man sees his brother sin a sin, which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. You can pray. For brothers that miscarry, for brothers that go off, for brothers that sin, if it's not unto death. And there are sins that are unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin. And that's evident, right? And there is a sin not unto death, right? There's some sins that are not unto death. Those you can pray for. You see? So we got to make that clear. You know, there's certain sins, you know, that are that are unto death, and there's certain sins that, uh, you know, they're forgivable. You see, let's see. Let's go back to First John one. Let's see. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay. Yeah, if you confess, okay, sins that are not unto death, you know, hey, how Bashim Yashai is is faithful, you know, to forgive you, forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So it, it says it again. Okay. It says it again, but see, First John 2 and 1, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the righteous. Okay? We have an advocate. We have, um, you know, uh, an intercessor, someone that speaks on our behalf, that judges righteously. So Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, uh, no. Okay, Yahweh Shai knows. The angels see everything, behold all things. So Yahweh Shai knows. Yahweh Shai knows what sins are unto death, what sins are not unto death. Okay. So, you know, you, you, you can't just go and do something and say, oh, well, you see, we're under grace. We all sin. I just got to confess. No, the Lord, you know, don't think that the Heavenly Father um, will not see you for that, so to speak. This is a uh, Sirach. Five and four say not I have sinned and what harm happeneth unto me for the Lord is long suffering he will in no wise let thee go you see so you, you can't ever say I, I sinned but you know there ain't no harm gonna happen to me for they, the Lord is long suffering he's merciful no he's not gonna let you go you see concerning propitiation be not without fear to add sin unto sin right you know just because Yahweh Shai died for the election you know, and his blood covers us from all sin. It doesn't mean you can just go ahead and, and sin unto sin. Okay, doing this, doing that, you know what I mean? Little sins that are not unto death and then commit big, you know, bigger sins that are unto death. Okay, then you're just going to get away scot-free. No, it doesn't work like that. It says, and say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation resteth upon sinners. So, you, you know, 
and, and see that's 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 what's the, the you know deceitful about Esau and this kingdom you know churches and 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 you know all these philosophies that they teach you that you know you, you know you're already saved when we actually you know you got to work out your salvation okay till Yahweh Shai returns you see so you cannot say he's he's merciful and he's going to be pacified you know he's going to he ain't going to do nothing for the multitude of my sins you see because he, although he is merciful, wrath comes from him too. Okay, his judgment goes out every single day, every morning, every night. You see, and his indignation, which is righteous anger, it resteth upon sinners. He is just. Okay, to do something, you know, to all that sin, you know, at any time we can get judged for sins. Okay. So, this first John. Uh, one and two, my little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahushua HaMashiach, the righteous. Okay? So, yeah, we, we do have an advocate, no doubt. No doubt. Okay? Let's see. Let's go to First John 3. And 5. And ye know... That he was manifested to take away our sins and in him is no sin, right? He was manifested, okay? He came into the world, you know, um, it was an author and finisher of our faith, okay? And he went upon the cross, okay? Yeah, I wish I, you know, he paid for his sins that he committed in his, in his, in his past life. So, you know, you know, don't think that, you know, we won't, uh, you know, suffer uh, the same fate, okay? To prove ourselves or or don't think, you know... You, you you won't be put to death for something you do. You see, we're prisoners of hope. But this is but this also says here, whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him and neither know him. You see, it says, whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. You know, and and and, and ultimately the election. You know, they're they're covered. You see, he's the advocate. He he's ultimately. Um, paid for the sins of the elect already. It says here. Uh, jumping to the ninth verse. Whosoever is born of the most high doth not commit sin. You see? Now check this out. I was looking at this in the NLT. It says those who have been born into the most high's family do not make a practice of sinning. Because the most high's life is in them. So they can't keep on sinning because they are the children of the most high. And that's spiritual. Let me read it in the KJV. It says, Whosoever is born of the Most High doth not commit sin. Let's look at this word born. Strong's G, 1080. Ganao. Ganao. It says, Of the Most High making men his sons through faith in Hamashiach's worth. You see? So, you know, those. Uh, you know, those men, those brothers, they come into the faith and are part of the election. You know, really the Lord keeps them. Okay. And if they do sin, the Lord was manifested to take away all sins. That's see, that's what the beauty of being a member of the elect is. You know, the, the, you know, the scriptures say, blessed is he who, who, uh, you know, there is no, um, matter of fact, let me see if I can find it. Blessed, is it a, blessed is he, blessed, bless, putes, bless, uh, Salah, <laughs> the man who the Lord imputes not iniquity, Psalms 32 and 2, Psalms 32 and 2, uh, we'll start at one, a Psalm of David, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered, you see? So that man who was part of the elect and his sins are covered, hey, he's blessed. He he's more blessed than than 
you know, any, any, you know, rich man, anyone who has anything of substance in this world, man, a man whose transgression is forgiven. Okay. Who's all, who's all wicked deeds are forgiven. Hey, that man is blessed. You see, and see wise men strive for, you know, to, 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 to be of that hopeful election, man. You know, only fools want to die and have a shameful death. Cause that's really what's going to happen to sinners. You see, and in this world, you know, they're painting sin as some great thing when really, um, you know, the, 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 the things of this world is, is really wicked and corrupt. And, and that's what you become wicked and corrupt. You see, blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh by Shem Yosha imputeth not iniquity in whose spirit there is no guile. You see, that's an upright man whose spirit there is no guile. You know, there's, there's no phoniness, there's no fakeness. It's, you know, the spirit, you know, wants to be upright, is upright, you see. And Yahweh Bashim Yashai justifies, see. And, and, you know, man looks at man, you know, in a certain type of way. But Yahweh Bashim Yashai, you know, he walked this earth. He knows a man that is upright, you see. So blessed is that man, okay, whom Yahweh Bashim Yashai imputeth. Not iniquity. Okay. Yeah, the Lord is the ultimate judge, man. You see? So we, we let us not be deceived. Okay, by sin. Because it's deceitful. You know, it's in this world, it's painted as, you know, you're just going to get away with it. But you, nobody gets away. Everyone pays. Okay, whosoever is born of the Most High doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him. Let's look up this word seed. Uh, let's see. First John 3 and 9. Seed. Strong's G, 4690. Sperma. Sperma. It says, of the divine energy of the Holy Spirit operating within the soul by which we are regenerated. You see? You know, the, the, hey, the elect have the Holy Spirit, okay? It's operating within their soul, okay? And that, that Holy Spirit guides you into all truth, okay? And, and, and you know, you're, you're, you're born again. And that, that seed is not corruptible. You're, you're not going to get corrupted, you see? Even King David wasn't corrupted, even after everything that he did. So, you know, let us not think that, that, that you know, we're going to get away with sin because, you know, just because we're alive doesn't mean, you know, that the Heavenly Father is not going to judge us or that he can't. You see that he's he that we're Gucci, so to speak, you know, hey, this this truth is, is very serious. And we, and we have to constantly pray that, you know, the Lord, um, you know, deals with us every single day. OK, because, you know, our people, they don't even know what sin is. Therefore, you know, they commit it day after day, time after time and, and, and even commit big sins. And they know not what what they stumble on upon. OK, and they become hardened. They just become more wicked and degenerate. See, we're not trying to be like that. But see, that's what this world uh, does. It paints sin as, as just enticing, like it's something to do. And it's not. It, it really isn't, you know. It really isn't, okay? Righteousness is where it's at. You know, that's something that I've, you know, I've come to, to say through the Spirit. You know, righteousness is cool, man. That's what's really going on, right? Okay? So, Lord willing, this was edifying, all right? Uh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rokhak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.